Volleyball, the sport played by over 46 million Americans and worldwide over 800 million. It was invented by a man named William G. Morgan, who was an instructor at YMCA in Holyoke, Massachusetts. He brought the sport together by combining elements of baseball, basketball, tennis, and handball, a sport that demanded less physical contact than basketball, but used all other sports to make it a sport filled with fun and a lot of competition. He set rules which have stuck with the game today, and some which have formed volleyball into the modern game it is now. The original net of volleyball was set at 6 feet 6 inches. The game consisted of 9 innings, each of which contained X number of serves pertaining to the number of players on the court. Each player served until an error occurred on his side, and when each server was done serving, the inning also ended. You can only score a point if your side is serving. The opposing side can only score points when they regain possession. Volleyball started to take its toll on the rest of the world when it expanded to Japan and Asia through YMCA in 1896. With the expansion came new rules brought to the game. The net became higher, 7 feet 6 inches, along with the court, 35 feet by 30 feet, and innings were removed and the game was set to a 2 out of 3 game competition and was changed to a race to reach 15 points. The Philippines began to add their own twist to the game in 1916 by altering some aspects of the game, from a six-side play to terms set, set and spike, which today is a slogan that brings disgrace to the game. In 1920, the court was altered to 30 by 30, and three touches per side was brought to the game, and both of these rules still exist today. In 1934, referees were introduced to the game. This helped eliminate cheating and made it a much more fair game for the players. In 1940, William G. Morgan, the creator of volleyball, died at the age of 68. He was a man of high moral standards and suffered no pangs of jealousy and continued to follow with enthusiasm to the progress of his game, convinced that real volleyball for real athletes would be a success. The game started to expand all over the world and was introduced overseas. In the mid-1900s, volleyball began to make changes anywhere and everywhere to the game. Knee pads, blocking, spandex, and liberals were all introduced and the sport was even brought to kids. The sport was brought to juniors in the United States in the 1960s and now is in the top five list of sports to play for girls. The USA Volleyball program started to pick up with the men's team and eventually the women's USA team was formed in the 1950s and was a big stepping stone for the sport. In 1965, the Beach Volleyball Association was formed. Beach Volleyball has led to many great athletes, such as Carrie Walsh and Misty May Trainer, three-time Olympic champions, and Todd Rogers and Phil Dahlhasser, reigning Olympic champions. The sport has made its trademark in the world for many decades, improving equipment, players, and the game. Both the men and women's indoor volleyball teams have been very successful in the USA Volleyball program. The women's USA team winning two silver medals and a bronze, and the men winning two gold medals and a bronze. As many start to catch on to the phenomenon of volleyball, things are starting to change. Things are starting to pick up in the volleyball world. In 2020, a new technology was introduced with the net. The net buzzes when touched to prevent unfair net calls. In 2035, jerseys were improved. A tracker was implanted into the jerseys to help make substitutes and following the libero much easier. In 2039, the ball became a vital part to the stats. It was able to track a 3, 2, 1, or 0 pass during a game, and when the match ended, you could instantly download the information. The shoes became much more adaptable in 2043. They could adapt to any time of court and this helped cut down the cost for many families. Volleyball continues to capture the world's attention and captivate many people's lives.